B'Tselem is the Israeli Information Center for Human Rights in the Occupied Territories. B'Tselem is Hebrew, meaning in the image of. It's also a synonym for human dignity. And they tried to run a radio spot where they would read the names of children killed in Gaza by Israel. And the Israel Broadcast Authority wouldn't allow them. That's the kind of censorship that's going on in Israel over their supposedly moral and just cause. At the time of this press release, more than 600 Palestinians have been killed during the fighting in Gaza so far, including more than 150 children. Yet, Israeli media is barely covering the story other than mentioning the number of casualties. To encourage public debate in Israel on this issue, B'Tselem asked to purchase a spot on IBA Radio, Israel Broadcast Authority Radio, in order to have the names of some of the children read out. The radio refused on the grounds that reading out the names of Palestinian children killed in Gaza is politically, quote unquote, controversial. Yet the refusal is, in itself, far from neutral. It is a powerful statement in favor of silencing public debate over the massive price that Gazan civilians are paying for this operation. And here's a list of Palestinian children up to the age 15 killed from the beginning of the operation until July 21st, 2014. Please share this video with others. The B'Tselem video is getting a lot of views through Israeli social media. We need people in America to understand what's going on in Israel. Obviously, the fact that they feel it necessary to censor the names of the Gazan children being killed shows that they must know that they're up to no good. They must know that they're doing something wrong if Israel doesn't want the names of the children read aloud. What's controversial? It's just a fact. Supposedly it's justifiable, so why can't the names be read? Please use the YouTube tools to share this video to let everyone know what's going on in Israel as far as censorship of what they're doing. Like I said, if it's supposedly justified, then what's wrong with reading out the names of the children that they're killing? In my previous video about Israel killing the children, just uploaded three days ago and almost 20,000 views, it may be on its way to being a viral video. So I'm asking you as an easy action to watch the video again to boost the views in order to amplify the message because the more views it gets, the more likely it is to get viewed. Here's a comment I posted to that video. The U.S. media won't even go as far in honestly telling the public about the situation as White House coordinator Philip Gordon has. White House coordinator Philip Gordon in a recent speech said, We consider settlements illegitimate and an impediment to progress on peace negotiations. Unilateral annexation of West Bank territories populated by Israelis is wrong, illegal, and a recipe for Israel's isolation. Now, of course, that's just empty words if they don't back it up with action and say comply with international law instead of aiding and abetting Israel's crimes. Please help out. Please amplify the message of this channel. Subscribe to the Twitter account. Like the Facebook page. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. And let's get this message out to millions of Americans because we have to put an end to this racist, murderous insanity.